Hey, hey, everyone, and welcome to the channel. Quirk Trip Tuesday. This is my mobile booth, just like we discussed yesterday. This is the amazing sound that my case makes when I take my Sennheiser 416 out of it. And by the way, this is a road case. Awesome. Okay, so lots of you were intrigued by my statement about pop filters last time and several of you asked me how this is done disclaimer future hours here just a quick disclaimer this is not a video that disses pop filters pop filters are very useful and a good pop filter actually does wonders for your recording and it saves you a lot of hassle with positioning and who is in front of the microphone if you're a studio or if you're a voice actor it just gives you peace of mind a bad pop filter, however, uh, can ruin your recording by filtering out frequencies that are really useful to your recording. So be careful what you choose. Now, there are times that you may have to record without a pop filter. For instance, if a studio doesn't have one or if your pop filter breaks or if you need to travel light and you do not pack a pop filter for, you know, efficiency. It's in those cases that you may find this video to be useful and this technique to be very effective. So let's get on with the video. Here it goes. I am recording the video on my camera, and right now the audio is from my camera. But I will be switching to the audio from the Twisted Wave app, just like on the last video, where I will be recording. Check one, two. Check one, two. So we're recording here. And this is actually going to help me sync. These are going to help me sync. So here it goes. This is the technique, and this is how I use my microphone when I'm not using a pop filter. So the usual technique would be to stand in front of the microphone like this. But this, as you may hear right now, is prone to many popping sounds coming from my mouth into the microphone. And the effect is that the abrupt air is pushing itself onto the diaphragm of the microphone. So the diaphragm cannot handle all this sudden bursts of air. And that's why it's popping. Can you hear this? Okay. What I do is either you can go further away, but as you can hear, the sound changes drastically. So there's a very big difference in volume as well as the acoustics are worsened somehow because it's picking up the reflections from the side and the and the windows and, and everything. So I like to record up close and personal as much as possible, but still there's a lot of popping uh, just as before. So I tilt the microphone up and it's still pointing in my mouth and I'm also taking it to the side. So this is the position that I'm using when I'm recording without a pop filter. And you can use this with a large diaphragm condenser as well because the air is going out and it's not hitting the microphone itself, but the microphone is close enough so that it can record very well the immediate, the, 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 the proximate sound of my mouth, of my voice, and everything that's coming out of my mouth, but without the air. <laughs> Maybe some of that was picked up. <laughs> Maybe not. But hopefully most is not being picked up in this position. That is how I am able to record um, into my mobile rig without headphones either. I am pretty secure that this is going pretty well. And you can see I'm not popping in my waveform. Uh, or at least, you know, haven't been popping since I twisted somewhere there is where I twisted my microphone and started showing you the proper position. So I haven't been popping because the spikes are not too big. That's the tip for today. That's the quick tip. Um, did you like it? Do you want more of these? If you do, you know what to do. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel. There's more where this came from. Leave a comment. Let me know what you would like to know. And uh, I'll try to cater to as many comments as possible. Take care, everyone. Till next time, be kind.